Hey, 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 morning coffee with Paul. How's it going? I'm really uh, happy today. I have uh, guests coming my way. I'm uh, going to share a live feed later today and reveal who my guests are. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? I love that picture of uh, Teddy. I loved it. Hey, Laura, how you doing? I love your post. You're so good. I, I You know what? I want to uh, grow up and be just like you. <laughs> you uh, I love the way you write. Hey, Bo, how's it going? Hey, Paul. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Paul and Paul in stereo. Hey, uh, Jenny, uh, just uh, so I know you uh, love your grandson so much, and you should. You should. He's a bundle of joy. So that brings me uh, to the message of today. I want to send that out um, to Janice and John, uh, my good friends in Newcastle, England. Um, hey, salute. Hey, Kathy. And Janice and John had uh, a rough evening last night. And hey, Lisa, oh. Lisa Maddie Brown, you're in the house. I'm so glad. So, you know, in um, going through this, going through a stroke, going through aphasia, it's hard. I, I know it's hard because I've lived it. And so many times people try to express their empathy for what we are going through. But I believe much like, much like a diamond, aphasia and strokes is much like a diamond. We respond well to pressure. It takes immense pressure to create a diamond. And when you have a stroke and you get diagnosed with aphasia and all of it's coming, coming and putting immense pressure on you, immense pressure, it's how you respond to this pressure that creates the diamond effect, the diamond effect. Stroke warriors, aphasia warriors respond to immense pressure. It's like we've been buried and we crawl our way back out of it to the pressure, through everything that comes our way. We get knocked down, we stand back up and climb through the pressure. And hey, Jerry, hey, Lynette, hey, Michelle, good to see you. Hey, Jerry. So listen, when you feel pressure, when you feel it's all closing in on you, and we do sometimes, just get your grit up. Get your grit up. Respond to the pressure. You are being shine. You're a being polished for something greater 
you're being polished, not demolished by faith and belief and trust. You're being polished, not demolished. And I, that's right. All the struggles we go through plant the seeds to help us grow into the person we were born to be. Profound. I can always count on Laura for a little bit of wisdom. Thank you, Laura. So respond. Get your grit up. You know, a kite only rises against the wind. It takes wind to make the kite rise up. And you have got to rise up to be your own best self. You were stroked for a reason. I believe. I was stroked for a reason. I hold on to that every day. And I trust that every day in some way, I'm going to feel pressure. I love pressure because it reveals to me the best that I have to give. It reveals to me. So much like a diamond, you need to respond to pressure. And I love the diamond analogy. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, hey, Judy, how you doing? But much like a pearl, a stroke warrior is much like a, a pearl. We respond to friction. It's little pebble in the oyster that gets irritated, much friction, and it's being polished for something better. It starts out as nothing, and it becomes this glorious, magical pearl. You are like that pearl being polished today, every day. And I can tell you that it's so much comes our way that we have to respond to. But growth can be found at the end of friction. It can be found at the end of irritation. It can be found at the end of immense pressure. You have to respond to pressure. You have to respond optimistically to the friction, to the irritation you encounter. So let me give you an example. Hey, that's a great question, Marjorie. I, I think that is. So I can tell you Tom and I respond by keeping PM a positive mental attitude. You know what? Tom in salute also says 90% of life is showing up. <laughs> so listen. And um, when you have a fascia, when you have a stroke, 23 months ago, I wanted to talk so bad. I just wanted to talk and I wanted to read and I wanted to write and I'm still working on that every day. But I can tell you so many times I would try to write a simple phrase like, I want to. And I could get the I, but I couldn't spell want. <laughs> I misspelled too. Or I would like to go. It took me forever 
I was irritated as hell. I was irritated. I was frustrated. I was just ravaged by friction, friction, friction. I've got to get it. But that friction, that irritation, that frustration mounted the pressure on me that helped me get better. It helped me get better. It helped me achieve. My ultimate goal was to be talking again. And you can do it too. Whether you have aphasia or want to learn how to do a hair bow like Maddie did uh, on my show, it was so amazing to watch that. I'm sure it created massive frustration from her when she was attempting to learn, but that's what we do. We respond. We are response able. We are responsible to take what's inside of us and use it for the good and use it to get better every day, every time, without fail, no exceptions, because you were born to be great. You were destined for maximum accomplishment in life. You do not have the right to turn your back on what you were destined to become. And I believe in you and so much. And hi, Carolyn. It is so good to hear from you. So have a good day. Have a blessed day. I hope this message uh, uh, got you right where it should. And I would be remiss if I didn't point it out um, because it's so important to me. Uh, don't disconnect. You are love. It's World Suicide Prevention Day. Listen, all of us are in this together. You are love. Don't disconnect. Wherever you are in this world, you have friends that love you, that care for you, that want to see you get better. We are here for you. Any, please share this message. Please share this message of hope and kindness and love, we are here for you. And don't disconnect, reach out, reach out and talk to somebody. Have a good day. And um, I uh, really appreciate you and salute and all my friends. Uh, have a good day, have a great day. I'll be back uh, sometime today uh, with a little, live adventure about my guest coming to my home. Uh, Jenny, you know, I, I love you. Um, I love you so much. No matter what you're going through, you are loved in the world. It's richer because of your presence. Hey, Lynette, I appreciate the share. I appreciate that, ate that. So tag a friend, please. Uh, help us build um, the Level 10 Hope Exchange. If you could recommend five people today uh, to join our site. We're trying so hard to share a positive, uplifting message, one post at a time, and you, are the main reason I created that site. It's because of you.
Have a nice day. Bye, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Be blessed.